Oh, there's the attack that we've been missing all this time. Okay, uh, that would explain a lot. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Wolf Quest, where we are here with the Skull Finders pack, who are just settling down to rest. We had a little bit of a, uh, a time last time. Uh, we are not full on food because we spent a long time poking around by the cattle ranch and I'm not sure if we're going to be able to find the last two skulls that we're looking for before the end of this episode, but we are going to try. However, before we can do that, we do need to sleep. So I'm going to go ahead and let these guys get some rest and we'll catch up with them again in the morning. Okay, so I think, yeah, I think Shade is right. We only slept once, but I think we're going to actually leave these guys here in the grass and see if we can find some food quickly. They are all pretty close to 20 pounds. It's mostly just Bone who isn't, uh, who's still at 18.5, so... I'm not sure how much time we're going to get now. The other thing you guys have been telling me is that apparently the skull that spawns by the cattle ranch doesn't always spawn in the cattle ranch, so we should do a little bit of a wider sweep of that area. Uh, it's just kind of in that whole corner of the map, potentially, not always right by the cattle ranch. So we'll look around for it. We'll see if we can find it. Uh, I'm not sure if we will or not, and I'm not sure if we'll be able to find a bear skull either, because that is also something that we should be looking for. But first things first, we need to take care of food, and actually our territory is not horrific. We could stand to, uh, to mark a little bit over here and to maybe go across and do some marking. Oh, and the babies are back with the herd. That's good to know. You know what, maybe we will hunt a, a baby elk uh, calf here as well, um, because I think both Pigeon and Shade are in need of food. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Let's let's really quickly, we'll do that, and then I'll see if I can have Pigeon cut across and mark some of the other territory over there, just so we can keep our territory up and don't start having problems with Lucky Pack. Where is this herd? Are they in the water? Oh no, I see them right on the water's edge. This may not be the most ideal thing in the world, but we'll try, we'll try. No, they've all gone right in the water. Yeah. All right, well, this is not gonna happen then. Okay, we'll see, see if we can find something else to hunt and eat. Oh, well, this should work. There's a, a bunch of pronghorn babies here. If we can catch up to them. Oh boy, actually, this is a little bit of a challenge. Oh, but they are scattering. Oh, wait, I don't want to go after one of the adults. I want to go after one of the babies. Oh my goodness. Well, apparently... Oh my goodness, they all got split up. Well, this will be fine for us to eat. It works out, it works out. We can actually bring one of these babies back to our, uh, uh, our pups as well. Oh, she really... Oh my goodness, Shade has gone after her as well. Uh, let's eat first. I think we'll all need to eat. I was gonna say, if we can find some beavers, that'd be good. But a pronghorn fawn or several will work as well. We just need to get everybody's food up. Yeah, shade's pretty low. We're gonna need to hunt several times over, I think. Where did they go? Right up here. This is just like an all-you-can-eat buffet for a wolf at this point. Oh. Turning around. Yep, there we go. The mother will be on our tail shortly here, but I think we've done enough- Ay, goodness sakes! We've done enough damage that we should be fine. We just gotta watch out a bit here. Can we get another bite in? One or two more will do it. There we go. Let's go ahead, we'll let Shade eat this one. We're gonna have to probably hunt a few more. And how hungry are our pups? They're a little hungry. I think one or two will be enough, though. Alright. Where did the rest of this herd go? The herd is right down here. We're gonna see if we can uh, get a bite in. Oh, they'll probably be turning. Oh, I don't act, oh, goodness sakes. <laughs> this is why I don't like locking onto pronghorns too early because you can very, ow, stop it. You can very easily get into trouble with that. I don't know where the one we were attacking even went. The mother's over here. Did they all jump in the water? Oh. Oh no, they're right down here on the water's edge. Uh, there's a whole bear here, hold on. What? Why is there a whole bear here? What is going- The other pronghorn baby are attacking me, what? Oh my goodness, I've never seen that before. Or I- What? I didn't know that they would all turn on you like that. I expected that from the mother, but not from the other babies. Look at the- The babies are chasing us down. What is happening? 
These are some tough little pronghorn. <laughs> Holy smokes. Oh my word. All right, well, we'll let Shade eat this one. That was more damage than I wanted to take. We should probably hunt a couple more. I'm gonna see how much he, or how full he gets from this when he's done eating. He's now at 108, and what are we at? We're at 88. Okay, so one more is probably adequate. Um, let's see. Oh, this is the one that we'd bitten before. Great. Love this. <laughs> let's see. Can we get a bite? I think we are gaining. It's just a question if we gain enough before our stamina runs down. There we go. I don't want to get kicked. Is... That's a whole other pronghorn, baby. Is Shade gonna help? There we go. Oh, the mother's run back in, but it's all right. We still made the kill. This little one seemed to get a little confused for a second, but that worked out to our favor. All right, let's bring this back for the pups. Spend a little time playing with them, get the affinity up. Hopefully with the older pronghorn fawns, it'll be enough to feed all of them. But after that, we should try to go and do some marking over here before Lucky Pack notices those hex hexes are unclaimed. Well, 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 it seems we've got a friend here as well. We saw one of these guys in the ghost town, but apparently there's one right here in town too. Safely out of reach, but very, very cute nonetheless. These guys are such a good addition to the game too. Like they add so much life to the world just by, just by hanging around here, even though they can't really be interacted with. Which, in fairness, is probably a good thing because Wolf Quest's main interaction is biting. And I wouldn't want to bite these babies. They're too cute. Look at look how sweet. Well, that's not good. And here I was hoping for a restful night after marking the territory. What do we want to bet that this is the Templeton pack? Although I suppose it could be lucky. I suppose it could be lucky as well. I don't even see where they're at, though. Ah, right here. Who are you? Nope, Templeton, as it always is. <laughs> there appears to be no escaping them, but fortunately we are mostly healed from our previous day's injuries. So that at least is a good thing. Get out of here. This is 1M as well. This is the, the pack leader. So he is here to cause problems. Get out. Get out. You better run. I think he's actually leaving us now. Yeah, you get out of here. He is much too high health to actually kill, though, I think. Go on, go! Get out of here! Whoa, 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 okay, hold on. Fossil's back out in the open. That is not good. This is not what we want. Okay, they have left. That gave me a heart attack. I was worried the other wolf was circling back around, but it seems like Shade had it handled. Whoo! Let's, uh, let, let's get some sleep and, uh, hopefully get some real rest this time. All right. The pups are pretty hungry at the moment, I think. We slept a bit because that attack took some extra time. Let's see if we can find any beavers over here, though. They are often, uh, not too difficult to find. Okay, this is perfect. This is the actual direction that we want to be coming from so that we don't scare them. Careful, Shade. They're usually right on the other side here. Oh boy. Is there anyone actually down here? I can't see. I'm looking. I don't know if there is. It might not be early enough in the day. Nope. It would seem no such luck. All right, maybe if we go this way, there will be some at the other trails. If not, we're going to have to find some food to bring back pretty quickly here. Uh, I do want to try to get to the cattle ranch tonight. I think this might be one of our last chances to do so, because otherwise we're going to um, we're gonna have the pups uh, reach 20 pounds. We're just waiting on Bone to get all the way up to the... Uh, up to 20 pounds here. Oops, I want to. I just want to get a drink. I don't want to go swimming. So we gotta find something to eat quickly here. Well, we might as well hunt an elk calf for the two of us while we're here. There's a herd just on the other side of this hill. If we can get a good bite here. Yep, there we go. 
We just gotta watch out for the mother. This will be a little bit easier for us because we don't have to worry about actually carrying it with us. And while well, Shade is being chased, except he led her right back to us. Oh no. I was gonna say, well, well, she's preoccupied going after him. We may as well seize our chance. But yeah, there we go. Perfect. Shade, you can be the distraction. And there we go. Very good teamwork. This should be enough for Pigeon and Shade, I would think. We just gotta find something that we can carry and bring back with us. Ideally, we'll, we'll find a moose, but apart from our uh, infamous local resident, I'm not too sure if there are any around, and we don't we don't want to go after her. It, it, that, that, that would just be bad form, even if we could jump the fence. You know what? Pronghorn might work if we can actually catch up to them on the slopes here, which maybe... No, I think they're gonna outpace us again. Oh, but there are some a little closer. We just gotta get them caught up on the rocks here. Make sure we don't spend all of our stamina too quickly and then seize our chance when they're bottlenecked right here. Nope, I don't think we I don't think we're gonna get them this way. We might have to regroup. Sometimes if you circle around and come back from a different angle, it's a little bit easier. This will give us the chance to regen some stamina as well. Charge into the midst. And can we land a bite? We're so close. No. Although they're running down into this weird little area here. That might help us out a bit. I think we're going to have to circle again, though. Oh, here we go. Here's our chance. They're on the rocks. They are... Uh, Getting getting all caught up on one another here. Oh, oh no, there's three fawns again, and they're all gonna come after us, I guess. I don't know why they're all like this. Ah, and the mother is right here. There's no escaping. This could actually be genuinely dangerous, by the way, because if you get surrounded on... Shade, why do you have a meat chunk? Oh my goodness, if you get surrounded on all three sides, then you could, or with three of them on different sides, you could actually be in some in some trouble here. I don't know why Shade has a meat chunk, but I guess we're on our own for this particular hunt. Can we quickly do some more damage? Why am I not able to bite? There we go, Shade is gonna help us now. Oh, I think I got kicked off right away again. Ah, stop it! Come on. There we go. We're close. I just need another bite. Come on. It keeps kicking us off right away. There we go. We took more damage than I was hoping we would from that, which is unfortunate. Shade, are you pretty much full on food? Did you drop your meat chunk somewhere? What did he even do with it? I didn't even realize he had it until, uh, uh, until a little bit ago. He must have set it down somewhere or eaten it. Well, that's a mystery that may not be solved. This is risky, but there's a beaver right on the other side of this that I think we should try to go after and see. It seems a little confused, but it might just dive straight into the water. Oh, yeah. We might be able to get it, actually. It is running farther away, although I think it's going to figure things out. No! Our pups are not quite full on food, but yeah, I don't think there's any way we're gonna get this. No. Oh, it's gone after us again. Actually, though, that's maybe not a good thing because we are um, a little lower on health than I'd like to be. We're gonna have to sleep again. Oh, oh no, it's gonna get in the water. No, it was so close. Well, that was an exercise in futility. I wonder if there's this hair that we can grab around here. We just need a little bit more food. Actually, most of them are fairly decent right now. But if we can find... Is this closer? Yes, it's run this way. Oh, now there's a moose, because of course there is. I don't think we have enough health to take it on, though. That is one issue, is Pigeon's health, I believe, is a bit lower. Yeah, she's got a minus one. So we have a little less margin for error in that regard. At the least, though, we still have some food that we are able to regurgitate, so that might help as well. Oh boy. I hope we have enough energy for this, and I think, yeah, we're pretty dang close, too. But, uh, I think we want to try to run to the cattle ranch really, really quickly. We have less energy than I was hoping we would, but it is cover of darkness, and if we're gonna be poking around over there, that's what we want. Shade, no, you gotta stay back with them, though. We're gonna be on a longer track. 
And I don't know, what are you? A oh, coyote, you stay away. You don't get any funny business ideas. We're just gonna go poking around over here. I think I've kind of given up on the bear skull at this point, but I do want to just poke around one more time at the cattle ranch. I, I, that, that, that's a skull we can only get in Lost River, so it'd be nice to, uh, it'd be nice to find it while we're here, although I suppose we'll have other wolves here in the future, too, so it's not the end of the world. Oh, there's also a pretty much used up bison bull carcass here. Well, that'll be a good dinner for Pigeon, at least. Okay, we don't have a lot of energy, but we're gonna do some sniffing around in the general vicinity of the cattle ranch. Uh, some of you guys have said that even the ghost town is a viable place for this, but I'm not seeing any sense, really. I don't even know what direction the wind is at this point. Oh, here it is. Ah, of course it's not in a good direction. Once again, this is going to be a challenging place for it to be because uh, this is blowing, like, towards the edge of the map for the cattle ranch. It's not ideal. We probably also want to claim this over as well, just so that we have a little bit of a buffer here. But I'm not noticing any sense coming from the ghost town area. Oh, why are you here? I'm, your sense are here. All right, we gotta, mm, where are we gonna go from here? Dang it, we gotta go back into our territory. I guess our territory is right here. We claimed most of this, oh boy. Here's this. Get out! Oh, they're gonna go for this. They're gonna go for this too. That's not good. That's not good. Yeah, they're they're realizing this is not very um very well claimed. We might have to buff this up. I just made a small corridor here. We might be able to intimidate them from across the border here. Oh, I really they're gonna boost this one up like almost all the way, aren't they? Ah, uh, this is gonna be an issue. Well, we can get into the ranch itself. We might just have to deal with these. Whoa, oh, hi. It's like, what is that glow? There's a cat here. I didn't know they glowed in set view. Oh my goodness. Well, hello there, friend. You're sure curious about us. We're kind of having a situation right now because I think our best chance may be to escape into the ranch. Shoot. We're still in um, Templeton territory, in the hex that they had just claimed. And we can't... Why are you at the cattle ranch? Why are you at the ranch? <gasps> oh, jeez, no! No, don't howl! You lunatics, what are you doing? No, you're stupid, or you're gonna, you're gonna get us all killed! <laughs> So this, I think, might be an automatic failure. Um, I don't know if we can even go into the ranch now. I mean, none of them got immediately shot, but howling at the ranch is a no-go. And that is exactly what they just did. So unfortunately, I think that the Templeton pack has just ruined our chances of, of getting this. Oh, you stupid, stupid wolves. <laughs> All right, well, I think we're gonna have to have Pigeon run home then. She's pretty much out of energy anyway, so this is not necessarily unforeseen. But my gosh, what a disappointment. I mean, I guess we will have other chances with other wolves, but boy, it would have made sense for the Skullfinder pack to be the ones to do this. This is... Not gonna lie, y'all, this is a bitter loss. Oh, well, we've got an achievement at least, so I suppose this isn't a total loss. I think Pigeon is still quite bitter about what just happened, but even though she doesn't know exactly what could have happened there, the sense of impending doom that, uh, that, that came upon her upon hearing those howls was not something she was willing to ignore. Uh, it looks like the Templeton pack has gotten their last laugh, but in the end, she's also left them to face the consequences of their own actions, so they might find out the hard way why what they did was not a wise idea. It's a good thing we didn't howl back, though, because I'm pretty sure we would have immediately died, and uh, 
yeah, that 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 makes the cattle ranch especially tricky. And that's, you know, that's one thing that is interesting about the territory configs is you can see that the Templeton Pack's home site is right there. So going to the cattle ranch on this difficulty, or not this difficulty, this configuration is actually a really challenging feat here. It's uh it's nothing to sneeze at. So that's something that is kind of fun about the territory configurations is you can use them to kind of adjust the difficulty of your challenge by making some areas more inaccessible than they usually would be. But whatever the case may be, I think we're gonna head back. We'll bring this meat chunk back, feed the pups, sleep the rest of this night, get some rest. And I would imagine, because Bone is at 19.9 now, uh, I would imagine that come morning, uh, our, our time here will have drawn to a close. And here we are. I don't know why all of our pups are suddenly so far away. Everybody's just hanging out over here with shade, I guess. Uh, and there's Antler. Antler, what are you doing all the way on the other side of the hill? It won't even let me go get him because we've, uh, we've finished all oh, my word. Well, that was... Uh, that was an interesting ending. I, you know, there are some things about it that were kind of mixed. There's things we wanted to accomplish that we didn't get to that are not going to happen in Pigeon Story, but, you know, we'll have other wolves here in Lost River. This certainly won't be our only chance, but we also achieved things that we didn't entirely know we would. I mean, we got Graveyard Shift, and that's something that we had not gotten before, uh, and that wasn't really in our plans, so some unexpected successes and unforeseen failures hand in hand. All in all though, we did have five of six pups survive, so that's not bad. And we'll be taking a closer look at them in the litter review here that'll come out hopefully pretty soon. And we'll get to see what these guys look like as adults. But this is gonna conclude the story of the Skullfinder pack. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.